Flow from Bear River, April 17th, 2021, 94 cubic feet per second. Isn't it beautiful running down Bear River? And this is an area that um, where the groundwater is connected with the surface water, and this gets inundated at about 100 cubic feet per second. I'm just down from the little beach. You got your miners mining. It's a beautiful day. It's a breeze about 10 miles per hour. We'll get up to the high 70s. It's about 10 degrees above normal and has been for almost a whole month so far. Um, I made an inquiry as to uh, what the type of water year it is because uh, Everyone's been saying, oh my God, you know, the driest, third driest year since, you know, a long time ago and all that. But I guess in this particular watershed, it's normal. And NID did approve surplus water. So they're running it um, based on a normal year. That'll probably change in the summer. But I'm really grateful because this is a, a key time of the year for trout spawning. So the trout need these kind of flows to get up the river, find the gravel. And um, they had a 500 CFS peak about a week ago. And that kind of moved the Didymo stuff, the gross algae, um, invasive algae that would covered the river. Because they had had it at 30 CFS all through January, February, and a lot of March. Um, and then they blasted it. And then they cut it down to 75, and now it's up to 94, which isn't too much of a fluctuation, so that's good. And um, so right now, today, um, the Biota at Bear River is doing well. So today is a good day here at Bear River. Oh, Matakweas and all my relations. <laughs>